again. Woohoo! I love this series. This is where I tell you the best and the worst from a certain kind of makeup product. So I've already done um, foundation, concealer, mascara, drugstore shadows. I really pay attention to the requests from what people want to see and eyeliner is one of those things that a lot of people ask me about often just in general. And with this video it's a real combo of drugstore and high-end. I'm not going out of my way to separate categories. It's just best and worst. First off, liquid liner. My favorite, the Try This, is the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Liner. The shade is black vinyl. This is the blackest black, totally waterproof liquid liner. I have put this to the test on my blog, and beware, not every shade in this line is waterproof. They're all labeled as such, but this is the one that is truly waterproof. The shade, again, is black vinyl. It has kind of a little felt tip type of thing going on here. It's very easy to, you know, navigate across your lash line. The Not That is from e.l.f. Studio line. It's the Precision Liquid Eyeliner. Um, this is not a horrible product, but the real problem lies with the little brush tip. Um, even though I think some brush tips can be good and do a really great job, this one actually tends to separate just a little bit right there in the tip, and when you're trying to get one even line and you've got little brush fibers sticking out, it makes it really difficult. How about a felt tip pen form of liner. This is what I steer people toward when they say, I'm new to liquid liner, what's the easiest thing I can use? And with a pen, it's just practically like you're writing, so you have a lot of control. And the try this for me is the Milani iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner in Blackest Black. Um, I've talked about some other felt tip pens from Milani, the Color Play. I still really like those. I know they're not as easy to find. However, if you are looking for anything from Milani, even some older stuff, go to cherryculture.com they really have the biggest selection, but I think this is what's going to be what you're going to be most likely to find out in stores. And again, it's iTech Extreme. It has kind of an extended felt tip there, so it's just a little bit longer. It's very, very user friendly and very black. And because this tip is so fine, you can practically like stamp it right across, like lay the whole thing down instead of just drawing on the tip, like lay it down and stamp it. It's like the easiest way to do liquid liner. And I swear there's something about Milani. I am convinced they are doing something differently with their felt tip pens because they always lasts longer than any other felt tip pen liner I have. Some of them can dry up really fast. These don't. And my mom has had the same experience. Um, she uses the brow marker and hers has lasted her so, so long, even though she's got multiple backups now. But um, iTech Extreme is great. Consequently, the Not That is also from Milani and it's the iTech Bold Liquid Eyeliner. In terms of just the actual liner, the liquid itself, I mean, it's good for the same reasons the other one was, but I just really don't like the way this one is put together. The tip is shorter here and then it gets really thick and wide um, you know around the rest of the product and therefore it's kind of hard to really get in there and get the line you want and in terms of like laying it down and that method doesn't work so well with this because it is such like a thick marker and so when you want to just use the tip it just can be a little bit hard to get right in there in your lash line. I want to talk about glitter liners and the try this is the NYX Glam Liner Aqualux Waterproof. I have it in the shade Glam Golden. And what I love so much about this is that it's a very, very fine glitter. So you do get that pretty shimmery effect, but without chunkiness. And it goes on with full color in one swipe. The one that really served its purpose for a Christmas tutorial I did, I think this past Christmas Eve, um, is the Eye Drama Glitter Liquid Liner in Envy. This is from Femme Couture. That's something you find at Sally's. And it looks gorgeous. And I was able to, you know, build it on itself to get the line I wanted. But compared to the NYX, this is so much more of just like a gel that's simply binding some glitter together. For cream slash gel liners, some people really love these. They can be very long wearing, but um, my favorite, and this is a new favorite, so thank you so much to everybody who told me to try this. This is the Essence Gel Liner in Midnight in Paris. So looks like this is a little pot. It's super duper creamy, goes on so smooth and so rich and black, and it, you know, 
staying power is absolutely outstanding with it. I love using it with my fine liner brush from Real Techniques. I find that this is just the perfect size for getting just the kind of line I want. Not too thin, not too thick. It's great. The L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in Blackest Black reminds me a lot of this. This one's just going to come at a cheaper price. The Not That is the e.l.f. Studio Cream Liner, and the reason why, ultimately, is that it dried up faster than any other cream liner I've ever used. I have had some products way longer than this in my collection, and this one is, I mean, you can see how dried up it is in there. Like, the product basically shrunk. Um, how about brightening liners for the waterline? Lots of people like to use something like that to make them look a little more awake, or just to, you know, counteract any redness you might have. I love the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. I've talked about this before. So many of you have told me how much you enjoy this product. And this is a really long wearing creamy liner and it's not stark white, but I'm wearing it today just right there in my water line. It's a lot like the Tarte Emphasize. That is a retractable one, but it also costs a lot more. So this would be my pick. The Not That, uh, I don't even know if they're still making this, but it's the It Cosmetics Hello Bright Eyes. Um, Hello Dry Pencil. This dried out so quickly, as have a lot of my pencils from It Cosmetics. I mean, it's just hard as a rock. No color coming off. I'm pretty sure this was one of my big fails of the year. Get yourself the Rimmel, you'll be happy you did. As for a really great long wearing, just regular old liner in the waterline, not one of those brightening kinds, like you're doing a great smoky eye and you want that nice intensity right in there in the waterline. I've got a couple options for you guys. I know I've talked about it a lot, but it's the best I've used. It's the Mally Evercolor Automatic Waterproof Eyeliner. I have these in a lot of shades, um, so it is a retractable one. The uh, Starlight ones are not retractable, and I think you're going to find that they're creamier. However, the fact that this is creamy enough but just at the teeniest bit dry, I think is what makes it really adhere to that waterline and last a long time. If you're just experimenting, maybe just keep that in mind that sometimes the creamiest liner is not always the best in the waterline, but this Mally one, I've tested it just directly up against other liners. Another one that's creeping in there though that I'm loving a lot is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Eye Pencil. This is a duo. It's got um, Onyx, I think it's called, and Coffee. And sometimes the way I like to use this is the black in the waterline, and then if I'm going for a smoky look, I'll take brown in in with the lash line and kind of smudge it out. Gorgeous, love it. Okay, we're getting towards the end, and I know I pointed out along the way um, certain liners that have been waterproof. Now I'm talking about cl the classic pencil. So um, retractable or the kind you sharpen, just classic pencil. Criteria I'm thinking about with these are, you know, if they claim to be waterproof, are they really? And how easy do they go on? How pigmented enriches the color? So I've got several guys to recommend to you. Based on availability, you know, you might choose different ones. One, of course, is the Maybelline Master Drama. These are such nice liners. I reach for this black one in Midnight Master all the time. Talk about it a lot. Love that it's retractable. Um, just wish the shade selection was a bit more expanded, but all in all, that is a great liner. Also, the Milani Liquid Eye. This is the liquid-like eye pencil. These go on super smooth. Ultimate, you know, great staying power. So newer addition to my collection, but the Sigma Extended Wear Eyeliners are legit long wear creamy, pigmented. Their black shade called Boost is very impressive, but they've got some kind of unique shades in the mix. I probably need to do a big old swatch fest on my blog on those, but I would recommend those. They work very, very well, and you can get them in trios if you want. My not that when it comes to these waterproof pencils. First off, it kind of pains me to say this because this is a really rich and creamy liner, but the Too Faced Perfect Eyes, this has a waterproof on there, and it's just not. This is not a totally budge-proof liner. Those other ones I've mentioned, these other Three, they set to a complete smudge proof state. This does not, and it's just important to know that. Sometimes you just want a smudgy, creamy black liner. This can give you that, but it is not absolutely waterproof by any means. One of the worst eyeliners I've tried in recent memory is the Essence Stays No Matter What Waterproof Pencil. Um, I don't know if I got a mega dud in this, but this goes on like chunky style. It almost has like little flakes or chunks that come off. Not a smooth, even line. Definitely smudged on my eyes. I don't know 
but what's up with that? Because that stage no matter what claim is like crazy and I know they can do great things. We talked about the gel liner. Oh, these videos can be fired up sometimes. Final um, category, just wanted to talk about liners that come in a really great color range. You don't always have to use black and brown. You can reach for some fun colors and the NYX slide on liners. Um, these could have also gone with, you know, being totally waterproof, but the, one of the most impressive things is that they have a phenomenal color selection, many, many shades comparable to the Urban Decay 24 7s. You do have to sharpen them, but they go on super smooth and, like I said, all the colors in the rainbow plus some. Um, for the the Not That, um, these are liners that have actually worked fairly well for me over the years. Um, they put out a good color selection. The liners go on smooth, but staying power-wise, they can't hold a candle to NYX at all, and it's the Jordana Easy Liners. And like this shade, uh, sterling blue is beautiful but you've got to set it and even then you're not necessarily going to hold up to what NYX can do. So those are my picks and non-picks. Um, bottom line, you got to be able to trust your eyeliner. You know, it's one of those things that can be very obvious if it's going wrong and, and falling south on your face a little Honestly, bit. Honestly, eyeliner would be one of those products I'd be willing to shell out a little bit more for if I thought I had to, but fortunately um, there are many great drugstore options and I've mentioned some high-end options in this video as well, just depending on what you're looking for. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!